Wait a minute. What's up, Cleon Arms? Wait lang. May inaayos tayo. At least the chat works, right? <laughs> At, <laughs> hindi ko pa chinek kung umaandar yung microphone ko and everything. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Buti na lang day off. What's up, Wizstick? Um, sandali lang. Paano ba to? So let's do... Actually, magpiplay ako ng Spotify sa kabilang PC. Let's see if this works. Uh, so, patay natin yung Spotify dito sa ano. So, I'm doing du dual computers right now. I don't know kung... Medyo madugo. <laughs> Especially for the music. Let's do this. Uh, play. Okay. <laughs> Madugo ito, madugo. So that's the music. Let's set the um, SMG Stream Warrior. Stream is okay, naman, right? Cool din yung mga upcoming music release ng NCS. I think so, yeah, definitely. I mean, NCS, talagang hindi na mawawala sa atin yan. NCS, NCS for life na tayo. Ooh, ano ba kailangan ako iset? Uh, SMG, lumabas na SMG, okay. SMG is up. Music is tama, correct yung... <laughs> Ang hirap, dalawang computer. So, um... <laughs> uh, um, natin ng graphics. That's the name. Welcome back, everybody. Huh? <laughs> photos. Okay, photos. Sorry. Uh, okay, so if you need an explanation, dalawa yung computer na ginagamit ko ngayon. Isa yung desktop ko sa kaliwa. Isa yung laptop ko sa kanan. Yung laptop yung nagi stream right now. And your desktop is what you're seeing here. You're seeing the desktop right here. So if I am to open... Oh, patay natin si TeamViewer. Uh, what should I open? So this desktop, this is the desktop right now. Kung saan nakikita nyo sa ano, ito. This is actual, uh, actual you know, yung, yung, yung Core, 60, Core i7-6700 desktop. Kayan. This one, this one that runs the web browser na nakikita nyo right now. This is the desktop. So, uh, ang bagong style na sinusubukan is um, si desktop controls all of my web browsing stuff, especially sa, sa stream, right? Uh, the reason for this, oh, kailangan ko na close ito. <laughs> this is my Twitch. My Twitch. Uh, close natin si Twitch. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Close all my stuff, dudes. Okay. <laughs> Hasa na tayo. Where's my comments? Uh, Alienware. So, okay. So, I have the lap. I have the desktop right here to my left. Um, running yung this. This is the. I, I can show you actually. Let's go GeForce Experience. And so, nakawon pa yung G, ano yung capture ko. So you can see, this is the specs of the. The desktop, right? This is the specs of the desktop, 1080 Ti, 7600 i7 7600, 16 gigs of RAM, 1920 by 1080 60 hertz, right now. Um, and uh, binabato ko 1080p captured to 30 fps. Binabato ko yung 30 fps to 1080p. Papunta dun sa laptop na Alienware, 
of Alienware is the one that is streaming right now. So, si, si Alienware ngayon yung doing all the Nvidia, uh, the the stream encoding, the stream uploading, um, and and all that stuff. Ralph, Ralph Torch, what's up? <laughs> welcome back, <laughs> sa ating, welcome back sa ating munting pamapalabas uh, na ma matagal matagal nating na ibakasyon. Huh? See, can I download? So, let's na punta yung download na yun. Show in folder. Okay, lagay natin sa desktop yan. Alright. So, ang, ang point ko lang dito, obviously, kaya naman natin mag... Honestly, sa totoo lang, I don't need this do two computer setup for streaming because kaya naman natin single computer setup because hindi naman mabigat yung ginagawa natin sa sa BTS right um there are some times there are just very small amount of times pag sa BTS um holy crap wait lang yung <laughs> meron tayong FPS counter sa taas <laughs> tayo yung FPS counter wait lang wait <laughs> wait lang <laughs> Uh, comedy, comedy ko yah, comedy. Wait lang, lumayan, lumang ano yan. Uh, hindi ako nakagawa ng graphics this week, unfortunately. So we're just gonna use the Xiaomi one. Uh, fit the screen. There we go. That's it. That's the Xiaomi one. Um. <laughs> uh, what's up, Rainer Lizada? What's up, Farmer Sanchez? Uh, <laughs> meron tayong frame rate uh, That's ano Yung frame rate na yan That is from uh, Yung ating uh, Subscribe uh, Goal goal Subscriber goal Because anything and Whenever we have a Window na That uses uh, graphics Lalagyan Lalagyan ng, in, ng Afterburner Ng ganong ano. So ang gagawin ko Iko-close ko lang siya And then um, Tatanggalin natin siya Tanggalin natin si Stream Warrior Iko-close ko si Afterburner There we go That should do it No po Balik natin si Stream Warrior And that should do it What's up Brian Akabado? BTS with FPS. <laughs> uh, 30 FPS naman tayo. So, yun, yun, hindi na naman, hindi nyo naman kailangan malaman kung ilang FPS tayo. We're just, <laughs> we're 30 FPS solid. There we go. So, there we go. There's our stream art. Hey! Alright. Nokia 1, 4.2K ba? Ah, uh, by the way, you see Nokia is magla launch this uh, this coming week. This coming week. Actually, I think marami magla launch this coming week, di ba? Many things are gonna launch this coming week. Uh, the Vivo, I uh, thought the Vivo V9, the Oppo F7 is gonna launch this week. Um, the, the the new Nokia phones, the new 2018 Nokia phones will will launch this week um, in the Philippines, ah. Um, I think there are eh. I'm sure there are pa. Hindi ko lang. I'm ah, oh, pff, si Asus Zenfone 5, huh? Zenfone 5. Asus Zenfone 5 will launch this coming week then on. April 14. So when is April 14? That's an, uh, that's Saturday next week. Zembo vibe. <laughs> Before we forget, this big, there's a it's gonna be a big coming week, but it's also been a big several weeks since nagbakasyon tayo for Holy Week. Uh, it's been a very interesting. Ano, actually, marami nang yari during the time. Like Apple had an event, Huawei had an event, Nvidia had an event. Some of them were important, some of them were not important. See, Intel had an event. Some were important, some not important. Some some will have future repercussions, some will have not so much. 
Uh, one other thing is wala na tayong Uber. <laughs> uh, nakalist sa CMK. Let's check out CMK. CMK. So wala na tayong lag ngayon sa ating desktop. You can see wala na tayong... Hindi na tayong naglalag ngayon sa ating stream when I open web browsers. Because, well... Ano na tayo? Insta capture na tayo. Actually, pwede na tayo magpalit ng scene if you wanted to. Let's see, let's see. Um, let's not use that anymore. Let's use BTS 1080p. There we go. Haya! Ay, okay. Kailangan palitan yung nakasulat dito. We need the Stream Warrior. Okay, Stream. No, not Stream Warrior. Malik. Sorry, hindi ko pa na update yung mga ibang. Not desktop capture. I need. Video capture device. Yes, thank you. 50% volume. Stream engine. Yes. Ay, nako, ano na naman natin to sa size, ano? <laughs> Trabaho na naman, ire. Trabaho na naman, ire. Uh, desktop capture. And... I was... We should just do the, ano, the... There we go. That's good, that's good enough. Oh yeah, MSI GS65. So a lot of the, um, there's a lot of new, a lot of new uh, Coffee Lake laptops. There's a lot of new Coffee Lake laptops. They're very, very, very interesting. You uh, know, it's not necessarily a lot of the people's in here's cup of tea. Because, uh, of course, budget. Maraming budget dito sa audience natin eh. But I like what's going on with laptops now. Especially since, for example, si Xiaomi may laptop na. Even though, biglang naluma yung laptop ni Xiaomi. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> um, shall we just do gaming? Where's gaming? Where's my... This one. Kaya lang walang chat. Oh, wow. I'm on the lower right corner into gaming. Eh, di lang tayo. Fine. There we go. That should be good enough. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, oh, pwede na sila mag cash on delivery? Wow. Four units above 5,000 pesos. Ooh, that's great. Nokia 1 is 4,290. Ano ba yung Nokia 1? Ito yung Android 1, di ba? Can display Mobile Legends. Yeah, I'm about buying specs. Nito, auto to send six seven three seven. I mean, alam niyo naman, you're paying for the brand at some at this point, kasi. Um, Lenovo K eight known four gig sixty four for for eight seven. Bule bule. Hindi ba ano naman to? <laughs> Media tech na naman to. Why? Wag na, wag na kayo mag media tech. Ay no, just go. Wag na kayo mag media tech. Ano ba? Paano, paano ba i paano ba? Dili na kayo mag media tech. Oy. Ganun, tama ba 'yon? <laughs> Dili na kayo mag media tech. Oy. Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. I might have a solution to my music because I'm going to music. Way. If I play it on the desktop, what is Listening on Alienware. No, listen to listen in uh, this computer. Yes. Si Giz Guide, love na love ang Mediatek. Huwag nyo namang awayin si Giz Guide, Koyas. <laughs> uh, kung ganun yung ginawa ko, sa so tingin nyo mag-affect pa rin yung ano. Let's see ah, wait lang. Kailangan ko lang may check ito. Kung magpapalit yung music. 
Oh, that's the power of the cloud, baby. All right. <laughs> Kung hindi niyo naintindihan yung nangyari, medyo intricate ang, <laughs> ang pangyayari mga kuya. Uh, ang hirap i-explain. Sorry. So, how is this? Okay, that should do it. Um, <laughs> if you don't understand what happened, tignan nyo to. So, right now, I was, I used to, uh, um, kanina nagpe-play yung music. Ito, ito, ito. Kung pa, ipe-play ko yung music sa Alienware laptop. That's the Alienware laptop sound. And then ipe-play ko sa desktop. Ah, but, the song uh, information sa baba ng screen nyo, pwede kong baguhin pa rin from my desktop. It's hard to explain, Koyas. It's hard to explain. So you just have to trust me. Uh, what's the config of the laptop? It's a Alienware. It's a low-end Alienware. Um, R3. And it's an i5, actually. Where is it? This is it. Uh, ito na lang. This one. This one. This is the spec that you're looking at. Um, this one. This is my Alienware. Uh, Core i5, 7300HQ, GTX 1050Ti, 2 gigs RAM, not 4 gig. Uh, and then it has a base of uh, 8 gigs of RAM, but I upgraded it to 16 gigs. Uh, and then the 13.3 inch display is 1080p. Not bad. Um, and uh, oh yeah, the storage has a 256 SSD uh, NV. Uh, I don't know if it's NVMe. It has an SSD, uh, a, what's it called? An M.2 SSD. But I also added another SSD into the laptop. Anyway, it's, it's not important. It's just a laptop. At this point, it's just a laptop. <coughs> Sorry. So we have a little bit of uh, growing pains when it comes to setting up the, stre the stream. That looks expensive. Eh, it's not that bad. It's a nice laptop, that's for sure. It's a very nice laptop. Uh, there are affordable but solid Snapdragons in the market. Exactly. Bangit talaga MediaTek, guys. Di ko alam. It's 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 night and day. It's night and day. When it comes to if you wanna really, it, it, it's just the comparison between a Snapdragon 625 and any piece of crap thing that that MediaTek pulls out of their ass it's night and day it's just a piece of crap versus I don't know a sports car oh I don't buy MediaTek I mean if you can we are we are living in a world we live in a world where there is no more uh, there are MediaTek I mean, there are Snapdragon phones that we can buy for less than 10,000 pesos or less than $200. I'm going to lower the volume of my microphone a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I think I'm peaking a lot. Testing. Alright, that's better. Should I buy SSD for gaming or Seagate Farcuda 2 terabytes for gaming? Only I have only $120. Um... I hundred twenty dollars. I am a big I am a big uh, fan of SSDs. I should I think you should SSD, but <laughs> if you're really on a budget and you want to install more than let's say four, five, six games, and maybe your internet is not fast enough, uh, you go for the go for the Farcuda. Um, The thing with SSDs is it's 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 really what you really want. Um, it eliminates a lot of waiting in a lot of the cases. So getting a Farcuda is is like a, a substitute for me. Hey, what's up, Jordan De Chavez? Ang huli kung balita sa MediaTek mataas ang hype sa XR. There's also there's always hype hype sa bagong MediaTek, but. Has any MediaTek 
been a good processor. No. <laughs> Kait na nga budget entry ni Xiaomi Snapdragon. Na. Exactly. So just just go for a Snapdragon. Uh, but there are new Alienware laptops that are. Oh yeah, the new Alienware laptops. It's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing they didn't release a new 13-inch because I would be very very sad. Very very sad. Uh, is it Coffee Lake? There is. It's actually a pretty low budget video from Alienware, if you look at it. Including the six core. So this is something that is coming for all all upcoming laptops with Coffee Lake, right? So if you've been familiar with gaming laptops or if you if you haven't kept up with gaming laptops, the most popular processor or the most uh, powerful processor you can get, well, the generally most powerful processor you can get for laptops, for gaming laptops, is the Intel Core i7-7700 HQ processor, HQ. Actually, HQ means... Uh, I, th I actually don't know what H means, but Q means quad, because it means quad core, because most of the, pro the laptops for uh, uh, processors for laptops from Intel has been dual core. This is the first time. Well, well the <laughs> the seven gen has quad. The HQ means quad core. Seventy seven hundred HQ is one of the most popular and one of the higher end uh, processors for uh, gaming laptops. Uh, for for maybe 2016 2017 now in 2018 they're introducing the new coffee lake laptops and the highest end processor you can get is no longer an i7 you can get an i9 processor with six cores and 12 threads that means from four cores we're now at six cores and from eight threads we're now at 12 threads which is a 50 percent boost in performance could be complete be completely honest that's a 50 percent boost in performance and Alienware is not the only brand that is doing this, but since we're talking about Alienware, this is the new Alienware lineup. Fif Alienware 15 and 17 for 2018 with the, um, uh, the new Coffee Lake 8th Gen processors. Overclock to 5 gigahertz. Did you see that one? That's a new Alienware. I think that's a 17. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a very poorly produced video, by the way. They, you can tell they rushed the video. Because Intel, sometimes they just rush stuff to launch. And they, a lot of brands don't have preparation time. New vapor chamber, that's nice. That's a new alien command center, which is nice. The old one looks kind of meh. You can still customize your lights. That's boring. They changed a little bit of what it looks like. Yeah, there's a black version. Most of them are like dark gray. Well, look at these. Yung pagka-produce talaga ng video nito, napaka-budget eh. Um, oh, let's check out the new uh, one four, world's first 144Hz thin bezel gaming laptop, the GS65 Stealth. This is the one from MSI. So these are like the most interesting products uh, that the brands have come up with. The, uh, the GS65 is probably the most interesting one from MSI. So GS65 Stealth Thin. <clears throat> uh, 
It's no longer red! Yes! 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 <laughs> it's no longer red! Thank the Lord! Hallelujah! It's no longer using that MSI boring ass dragon design! If only they could get the uh, the the uh, what's it called the uh, the mechanical switches. They have mechanical switches for laptops now, uh, and MSI has it for their high-end laptops. But I wish they can put it into their low-end ones. <clears throat> it's very nice looking look at that bezels look at those bezels huh very nice very attractive i like it i should have attended i did not attend the msi event um i hate i hate manila transportation now so hindi na ako masyado nag-attend ng events <sighs> this is one of the reasons why I like my Alienware 13 R3 because the Alienware 13 R3 has no accents has no color accents it has gray that's <coughs> that's just I'm just going on a tangent here the Alienware 13 why is the, why is the website why can't I get a freaking Alienware web <laughs> Where's the Alienware website? Why can't I get it on Google? Come on. Come on, Koya. Come on. What? <coughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's the one. Uh, let's see. Look. Look at... Um, can we get a... Up close. All right. So, if you turn off all the lights on an Alienware laptop... Introducing Alienware's most powerful 13-inch gaming laptop ever. If you turn off all the lights in a thir in this laptop... Featuring an optional touch OLED screen display and vibrant colors... For if you turn off all the lights, it's just a black and gray laptop. It's the first Alienware laptop of its size with a quad-core H-class CPU. So this is the old model. The 13-inch did not get an upgrade yet. Offered by the new hinge forward design, this powerhouse is ready to take the heat. So, uh, what am I gonna say? Uh, one thing is, I, I like the fact that I don't have to upgrade yet because uh, the 13 inch did not get upgraded yet. But my point here is, I like the Alienware for one point for one reason is the Alienware does not have red accents. The Alienware, when you turn off all the lights, it looks like a regular gray and black laptop even my keyboard even the keyboard on the alienware looks like an old school laptop i can't show you right now because i only have one webcam <laughs> the other webcam is unplugged unfortunately um but my point here is i don't i don't like red accents anymore unfortunately at the asus event that i attended recently um, they said that red will always be part of the gaming laptops from Asus. Um, according to Asus, it's branding. When you walk into a Asus retailer, if you walk into an Asus retailer, anything with red 
instantly makes people realize that it's for gaming. So for Asus, red equals game branding. For me, red equals so <laughs> uh, <laughs> Zephyrus M. Alright, so let's talk about the Asus ROG Zephyrus M, uh, this one. Hi, this is Greg from Asus ROG, and in this video... So, um, one thing here, uh, the new Asus ROG Zephyrus M is the new model of Zeph uh, uh, from Asus that is now Coffee Lake. So it has the i9 6 core, hexa core. It has a much, much, much better, much, much, much better design uh, compared to the original Zephyrus. Um, the original Zephyrus had the keyboard moved down uh, because uh, they wanted to make it thin. So they moved the keyboard down. They added the keyboard to the right side of the, the, num the numpad became the touchpad at that point. Um, and it was a not... And then the battery life was bad on the Zephyrus, regular Zephyrus. On the Zephyrus M, they fixed all that. And now it is... Woo, I really like this new one. Uh, the battery life is now three, three times more battery life on the new Zephyrus M. The battery size is bigger. It did not grow. It, it's a little bit thicker by like 0.9 millimeters. But the keyboard is now on the right spot above the trackpad. Um, they also made the battery life three times longer because now I think they have. Uh, okay, so the old <coughs> Zephyrus has G Sync full on the, the old, all the time G Sync on. Um, on the Zephyrus M, they have made that G-Sync can be toggled on and off just with NVIDIA Optimus, Union Technology before. By allowing you to turn off uh, G-Sync, or I think Wallachian G-Sync if I'm not mistaken, but it doesn't matter. It has a 144Hz uh, display that is very nice, right? <clears throat> so, now because you can turn off G-Sync and just use 144Hz with no sync, regular 144Hz, the battery lasts three times longer, which is, whoo, that's much better. So let's re let's watch this. Uh, we're gonna take a quick look. <coughs> at the ROG oh yes, yes, yes. So Atama Sequoia Norms, it's now using a regular full-sized GTX 1070 non-max Q design. So it does not it does not like down throttle when it comes to performance because the max Q design is a throttled version of the max of of regular desktop C GPUs. It has a 1080 Max-Q version, but the 1070 is no longer Max-Q. The original version of the Zephyrus had a 1070 Max-Q and a 1080 Max-Q. The new version, 1070 regular, 1080 Max-Q. So the 1070 is probably the better choice, honestly. The 1070, the full version, fat ver fat 1070 version, most the biggest, the the more the 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 non clock down clock 1070 is the best option in my opinion. Let's watch this. M GM501 <coughs> portable gaming laptop. This is our latest ultra slim, no compromise gaming laptop, and one of our first laptops to benefit from an eighth generation Intel Core i7. So, what makes this a no compromise, ultra portable gaming laptop? Well, for starters, it comes with a full powered desktop grade GTX 1070 with 8 gigabytes of GDR5. But that's not all. It also features a 15.6 inch tournament grade IPS type G Sync display with a 144Hz refresh rate and 3 millisecond response time. Having these high end components in a slim gaming laptop is great, but without. This, honestly, all of the things that I mentioned makes me really, really happy about the Zephyrus M, except for the red accent. Having adequate cooling, <coughs> the system will throttle back to prevent overheating. So that's why we've developed the Active Aerodynamic Cooling System for the Zephyrus series. When you open the laptop, the bottom panel flexes open at the rear to increase airflow by 32% and reduce temperatures by up to 20. Hot gaming, we've developed an DIE SSD over with a 20 million keystroke durability, three USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. Anyway, HDMI. basically, I've already told you pretty much anything you want to know about the the new Zephyrus, and I'm sure there's there's more stuff. Uh, but let's talk about what we, yung, yung the nit and the nitty and gritty, I guess. 
So here are some of the things we need to know. Nasa back to gaming tayo because sila yung kompleto sa information. Um, so here's the Zephyrus M. It's gonna be available very soon. April 17, 2018. That's 10 days from now. Um, and it's gonna cost uh, the 1060 version is no, 120,000 pesos. And the, um, the 1070 is 150,000 pesos. Keep in mind, this is the same price as the original Zephyrus, which is... Don't ever buy the original Zephyrus at this point. Hey, thanks for the subscribe, Kazi Amir Kader. <clears throat> um, and then you can see that it bo they both have 144Hz panel. They both have i7-8750, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte, and uh, big SSDs, 256 and 512. And I guess that's about it. It's available on the... 17th i know marami sa mga the i know a lot of people don't have the money for this so we're gonna just just that just mention it and then skip towards the other things uh there are other laptops from aces that are actually upgraded and i like what they did um let's see here so g well, what is this zephyrus m uh, GL503 is okay so the new GL503 will have a 8850h hexa core processor or at least upgraded, right? <coughs> ah, wala palang price list dito. And then, let's see, has Zephyrus Scar and Hero. Yes, ito yung maganda. I like the 503. This is the one that we want. So, we, the new 503 versions will have i7-8750, 8 gigs of RAM, 1050 Ti, no longer the 1050. 1050 Ti, and will have 120 hertz panels. Very nice. Um, so, yun yung paborito ko, and... Uh, these are some of the really awesome ones. Tumasang konti yung price by like 6,000 pesos. <clears throat> the problem here is because uh, naapektohan sila ng GPU pricing, right? So the GPU pricing from the previous generation, um, hindi pa affected, but the ge current generation of, uh, of, of laptops will have affected pricing. Sorry, nag-mute uh, nag ako dun because I was gonna cough. Anyway. Um, there's also going to be the Tough Gaming series, which is nice because those are very interesting laptops. And you can see that you can get a 1054 gig i5-8300, 120 hertz panel, a metal build, I guess, 5 FX504. Ang problema lang dito is 4 gigs of RAM. And it doesn't have an SSD. It has a SSHD. So that's a, that's a, uh, Firecuda Seagate. Uh, Farcuda with a with a what is it called? I forget. Anyway, it's in between an SSD and a hard drive, um, and you can see you can get one as as low as fifty seven thousand pesos, which is great. Hundred twenty hertz panel NAND with a ten fifty four gig. All you gotta do is upgrade the RAM. <laughs> Please upgrade the RAM, or you can get the seventy K, which is very very nice. Five oh four fifteen inch. Look at this seventy K. Look at what I'm well, I'm talking to. You. <coughs> Here's what I'm saying. 70K, 1050Ti with 4 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte and 8 gig SSHD, 8 gigs of RAM, i7-8750, 120 hertz panel, and it's a tough gaming series. So it's got to be, it, the, tough, the tough brand from Asus is more uh, durable from, uh, uh, when it comes to that stuff. Anyway, like I said, a, lo a lot of you don't have the money for this, but it's I'm really excited. Because these are um, very, very promising products from Asus. Unfortunately, all of the gaming stuff will still have red accents, which is... <coughs> and also, there's going to be new cheap motherboards. Ang Asus lang yung binasa ko dito, but uh, there's going to be new Coffee Lake motherboards because uh, as, of, as of last week, the only Coffee Lake motherboards you could buy were expensive high-end Coffee Lake motherboards. Thankfully, now there's more entry-level Coffee Lake motherboards. As you can see, they go as low as 4,280 pesos. So now, budget Coffee Lake builds are finally... We can finally build budget Coffee Lake laptop, uh, desktops. Finally! Yes, <coughs> There was a problem uh, since Coffee Lake was introduced. There was a problem since basically 
last quarter 2017 and first quarter 2018 because budget bills did not exist. Budget bills did not exist. The, re the reason is, um, Ryzen was still expensive. Hindi pa bumababa yung prices ng Ryzen. Um, because uh, Asus, uh, AMD enacted a price cut for Ryzen processors, but dito sa Pilipinas, hindi pa nag-take effect. So, what happened is, you can't build a budget Ryzen build. For the Intel side naman, there is no budget motherboards that you can buy for a budget Coffee Lake 8th Gen build. So, there was no option. AMD or Intel are more expensive than, a bu than an actual budget build. Now that there's new Coffee Lake uh, motherboards that are budget, there might now be possibly um, new budget uh, s builds for 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 both Ryzen and, and, and oh, actually Intel. See, Ryzen is not going to take effect. Masyado. All right. Um, oh, yeah. So, GP <laughs> unrelated news. GPUs are more affordable now. <laughs> more affordable now. That's very nice. If you... <laughs> Do you want? I I don't know if you're uh, anybody's in the market for GPUs these days, but uh, they're afford they're more affordable now. That's the one. GPU. Uh, vid. What is their? What do they use? A uh, 1050 Ti na lang. So uh, let's go to the PC Hub price list and check for prices, right? I will we'll finish the 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 PC discussion very very soon. Don't worry, guys. Um, so like for example the palette 1070 dual fan right here no that's the 1070 wait why bakit mas mahal yung dual fan what look at this what siguro dahil mas mas pabor ng miners itong dual fan look at this normally the dual fan of palette is cheaper than the jet stream but now look at this it's 3000 less the jet stream is cheaper <clears throat> and you can see that the uh the 1060s are now less than 20k now so the the prices are going down because mining is uh declining now 25 <clears throat> percent decrease in price though so gpu pero wala pa much sa atin. it there's taking a little bit of effect now Th thankfully they're taking a little bit of effect um, I want to put into example my 1050 Ti, 1080 Ti. Sorry. So I have one of these. I have a 11 gig palette GTX 1080 Ti Super Jet Stream. Um, I don't know why it's called 352 bit, but I bought mine, my 1080 Ti Super Jet Stream for 38,500 pesos. Now it's 46, 240, 240. That's actually affordable. Much more affordable now. Because at the height of mining, it was like 58,000. So now it's by more than 10,000 pesos now. And it's much closer, much closer to the price I bought it uh, back in May, 11, May 10, 2017. Um, <clears throat> so I think at, at 46,000, this is a... I don't know what it's about 1080 Ti. Sorry. I know it's not for everybody in 1080 Ti and not everybody has the budget. For the 1080 Ti, but that's the that's the pricing I follow because it's easy to remember my the original price I bought it at 38.5, and then it's a big number. So a big number is easy to follow because it easily gra you can clearly see the percentages, the changes. But for example, a 1060, I bought my 1060 at 13.5, and then mahirap pa na okay ano na lang siya, 13.750. So parang what? But the bigger the bigger the number, the bigger the, per, the you can clearly see the difference in percentages. Uh, Richard Lanuza, saan kasabad din sa topic si Huawei MateBook X, MateBook, MateBook X Pro. Uh, nice topic though. Good evening, mga kuya. What's up, kuya Richard? Uh, okay, let's talk about MateBook. Uh, Mate, uh, <laughs> MateBook X Pro. All right, I have not heard of this one. Uh, I think it was on the launch, but I did not pay attention to it. All right, let's watch the product, the video. <clears throat> okay, nice thin ultrabook, very small bezel so far. <clears throat> Sorry. 
sorry. What the heck? Okay. Open your horizons. Okay. Alright, let's see what this is about. 91% uh, screen to body ratio. That's very nice. Uh, 3000 by 2000 resolution. Okay. Mm. Oh, very nice. 100% sRGB. 450 nits. That's very nice. <coughs> Very thin. Seven oh eighth gen i7. MX150, so it's a little bit capable of gaming there. And it is GDDR5. <laughs> Thank God, not GDDR4. There's a GDDR4 version now. Um oh the webcam oh what the hell? The we <laughs> That's a scary looking webcam, it pops out. Like a keyboard, it it's it pops out the, from the keyboard. Fingerprint scanner. May Thunderbolt, but oh, it's a nice ultra book, but I don't think it's gonna be like for everybody. It's gonna be expensive, that's for sure. Where are the specs? Oh, there it is. <coughs> okay, let's see here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, it's using a U processor, 8550U or 8250U with a GeForce MX150. Mm. Mate dock. USB-C times one. Thunderbolt 3, thank you. All right, so you can upgrade this with Technically, you can use external graphics on this. I don't know how good it will be, but... Ah, there you go. So, I have to scroll down a little bit before I can get to the thing, the little tab thing. Okay. <coughs> Let's actually look for videos. Kung meron bang ibang videos in Book X Pro. Nothing. First look. All right, why not? Ano mas lamang MX150 or 840M? Actually, let's check out. Hello from Fake Business. <coughs> I am here with the Huawei MateBook X Pro. Now there are two really interesting and cool oh things about this God. laptop, uh, and I promise you that I will tell you them. But first, we're going to get through the boring things. There is a USB A port. There are two USB C ports. Uh, inside there are core i5 or i7 8th gen. That voice. <laughs> He's. Uh, <coughs> um. Processors. There's a MX150 discrete TPU from NVIDIA. Uh, it pretty much looks a lot like a MacBook Pro. It even has the same weird cursor keys and speaker layout. Uh, and it even comes in space gray. So make of that what you will. But there are some cool things about it. Uh, number one, just look at the screen. I mean, yeah, that's the a really nice bezels screen. on this thing are absolutely tiny. Huawei says the screen to uh, body ratio is 91%, which is. Madaling masira yan siguro. That's probably gonna break us. Uh, even on the right, bottom, that's pretty uh, fragile, isn't it's it? It's a very very small bezel, which is something where a lot of laptop makers slip up. Uh, and since there is no giant bezel on the bottom, you may be wondering where is the webcam. By the way, that webcam placement is not very good because that's the webcam placement is gonna look from from here and ang ang camera angle niya is papunta dito sa sa baba mo eh. Especially when you're, for example, your the desk is low. If the desk is low, the that that webcam is gonna look like at this, at here, right? Me, my webcam is up here, right? So it's looking down to me. It's gonna look at. It's gonna be an unflattering um, angle for. Number two is what I'm saying. <coughs> yeah, it, it's if nothing else, it is expensive. Screen is great. Is there a price for this yet, or no? Uh, Three thousand by two thousand resolution, so that's that's super high, and it makes. You review need Dave 2D. I I, sh I I would, but it's gonna. I mean, I don't want to get into a lot of uh, copyright <laughs> copyright issues by watching YouTube stuff. All right, let's go to Dave 2D. <coughs> uh. 
Uh, la, 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 la. No, he doesn't have one. I don't have new gaming laptops, but that's it. Right, oh, actually, Bahaman Bahanandito. Um, oh, there it is. Galaxy S9. What? But the lawa. Hey, how's it going? Dave 2D here. So, MWC is happening right now, and there are a few devices that have been announced. I'm just going to go through some of them and. Significant. Like, wouldn't. S9 can supposedly do this with a. a concept that's. Full the best looking laptop I've ever seen to date. <coughs> Excuse me. Angle with this new Matebook, that camera angle's fixed, but I think it's worth it for the ultra thin bezels. Now, the previous generation of Matebook. The it's Matebook okay for me, but it's gonna be. Really na ba talaga? What? What? Battery life on I wanna know the price. <clears throat> uh, $1,850. Okay, let's see here. Um, what? What's the price? One thousand eight hundred. Eight so about. Actually, that's not bad. Mm, that's not bad. You want eight fifty? That's like ninety thousand pesos, right? <laughs> 100k it's not it's not terrible what version do we get core i5 8 gigs ram 256 and mw uh why mw 150 what mx 150 come on tech radar it's you have to pay for the the technology here and the bezel less design and the higher higher rest display so 100k for this i'm not gonna pay for that of course it's gonna be a super duper nice laptop though. It's a super thin, super beautiful looking design. And it looks like a what? A, a MacBook Pro? Something like that. But it's got uh, an Ultrabook processor. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> I'm still for the. I'm still for a Surface Pro. I'd still prefer a Surface Pro. So let me get my Surface Pro. So, this is not the most cutting edge design ever anymore. Can we do a full webcam? Do I have a full webcam scene? Uh, no. Let's do a. F Let's try to do a new one. Add scene, yes. And then that on scene is just a webcam. And let's see. Video capture device C720. Yeah. But it's square. <laughs> What's going? But it's a square. Ah, tama lang. Okay. All right. Fit the screen. Okay. So this is my Surface Pro 4. <coughs> Keyboard detachable as usu as usual. It's not uh, you know the bezels are slightly bigger than than whatever, but it's much more affordable. Has an ultrabook processor as well, and all that. Um, that's not these kinds of these kinds of devices are not is not for everybody. These kinds of devices are not for everybody, especially since you can't play games on these. Um, <clears throat> you can play Dota, League of Legends, stuff like that, but. CSGO even. You can play that stuff, but maybe even... Uh, no, not Fortnite. Definitely not Fortnite. Um, these are expensive laptops made for very fashionable business people. Um, even the Surface Pro is a, is a is a expensive laptop that is designed for very fashionable business people, even though I'm not a business people. It's, my point here is, uh, if you don't have the money, it's not going to be for you. 100K for the base model is, is not, not for everybody, that's for sure. Alright, let's move on. Uh, let's look at this thing. MX150 versus 940M. Looks like... Mm, uh, 
parang pantay lang halos the MX150 just edges out a little bit if I were you I'd get the MX150 just for better battery life probably um, all right let's talk about phones because I with stuff like that and go back oh me game laptop let's let's end this one uh, before we move on uh, to the new stuff. Let's talk about the Mi Gaming Laptop and maybe the Mi 2S. So Mi, Mi Xiaomi had a new a launch back in Feb 25, technically. Um, so they actually talked about the new Mi Gaming Laptop. And... <clears throat> it's a, actually a very interesting laptop. Um, so only like a picture. Actually, so only like a... Aim? There it is. There we go. So, very low quality. I don't know why that's what they gave us. I think there's a YouTube video we can watch. <coughs> or maybe not. I don't know. I don't have much research. You can also go to uh, the Unbox. Uh, um. It's not a, an affordable laptop per se, the Mi Gaming laptop. Okay, let's just read this. So, uh, 20.9 millimeter laptop, right? With a Core i7 7700HQ. This is why Naluma siya agad. Quote unquote Naluma siya agad because it's using 7 generation processors when the 8 generation is very, very, very coming very, very soon. In April, this April, this month. We, you, you will be able to buy and and they're not going to be in limited quantities quantities they're not going to be in high end you know high uh, uh, introductory prices they're going to be in SRP prices Intel 8th gen laptops but this Xiaomi laptop is still 7th gen processor the 7700HQ 4 core 8 thread which is a bit of a bummer nung na announced a week uh, a month ago it was actually very very exciting a 15-inch display, 8 or 16 gigs of RAM, SSD, pretty standard, with terabyte hard drive. And then it has an NVIDIA 1060 or 1050 Ti, which is the graphics card you want when you we want just want a budget gaming laptop. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, so the, the high-end model with the 1060 will be about 75,000 pesos. Pretty standard. Pretty okay. It's 1060 any. And then the, the 1050 Ti model... With i5 bato? with No, no, no. They all come with the i7. Okay. It's 50k. Supposedly. Once we do the calculations. Um, 50k for a, a gaming laptop with 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, SSD. 1050 Ti. And made of metal. And all that from Xiaomi. Is very, very promising. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's not, you know, Coffee Lake processors yet. Um, but um, uh, I think... It's... They're still... It's still worth it to be excited a little bit for these laptops. As you can see, it looks like some sort of mix between a Razer laptop and a an, an Apple laptop, except with RGB lighting. So it's a keyboard. <coughs> By the way, the keyboard is not uh, independent independent RGB lighting. Uh, it's a zone lighting keyboard. Um, you can see 1060 7th gen uh, Intel Core i7 SSD um, High power cooling system I don't know what they're I mean, whatever And they have um, What is it? Not much else to talk about apparently Yung, yung bezels lang nung monitor is actually pretty nice uh, Dave Dudy also talks about this If you want to watch it uh, slight, he, he just reacted to it He does not, does not have the actual unit <clears throat> there it is and to him he says it might not be worth the ri risk because the pricing is pretty competitive is not very competitive especially sa US uh, especially sa US hindi daw ganun ka competitive yung um, yung pricing but in sa Pilipinas I think it could be very competitive pricing and he doesn't have a unit he has a sh other Xiaomi laptop here there uh, on the on this table, um, I I don't think anybody has a laptop yet. I don't think anybody has the Xiaomi laptop yet. So that's there. Um, let's talk about the Mi Mix 2S briefly. 
<coughs> sorry. Mimix 2S. This is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, art amongst technology. Full screen display. Curved ceramic design. Look at this bezel, though. Hey, thanks for the subscribe, John Daniel Balaji Baladhadia. Thank you, thank you. Um, Snapdragon 845. That's the headlining thing here. Snapdragon 845. We have wireless charging, face unlock, AR core, whatever, multifunctional NFC, whatever. Up to 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. AI dual camera, let's, okay, fine. AI. Look at the DXO mark. 101 points on DXO mark. Anin pinagaya bang ni ano ni Huawei? Huawei DXO mark. <coughs> so the P20 Pro has 109 DXO mark. The Mi Mix 2S has 101. DxO mark. This is higher DxO mark than the iPhone 10 and the Galaxy S9, right? If I'm not mistaken. So 12, two times optical zoom, 12, two, 12 megapixel wide angle, 12 megapixel auto uh, telephoto, four axis image stabilization. Very nice. Thank you, Xiaomi. Thank you, Xiaomi. I think this is might be the first one with optical image stabilization from Xiaomi. I don't know, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hardware level, multi-frame noise reduction, kind of like the Galaxy S9. Dual pixel autofocus, 1.4 micron pixels. Kind of like the Galaxy S9. Well, Snapdragon 4, uh, 845. Okay, so <clears throat> let's check out. I think we're not going to manage that. So we have a full screen display. Wireless charging. Um, let's see. What do we need to the Antutu benchmark is 277178 if you're just actually quite uh, uh, curious with that. Um, let's see here. I don't I don't believe any of these photos, of course. Let's see here. What else are we are they going to talk about? It looks like an iPhone at the back. <laughs> it looks like an iPhone at the back. It has a fingerprint scanner at the back. Thank you. But if you look carefully, the front-facing camera is on the bottom right corner over there. Here's the front-facing camera on the bottom right corner. A little bit of a bummer there, especially if you like taking your selfies. <coughs> mm. And I think that's it. This is just a, a live stream, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm very impressed. Mimix 2S. Oh, we forgot to check the price. So, that's not what we wanted. At least no notch. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, all right. So let's check out um, pressure nila. Available in six gig sixty four, six gig one twenty eight, and eight gig two five six, and uh, for RMB three two nine nine. So think about that. RMB three two nine nine two PHP. Less than, less than 30k. It's gonna be 27k. Let's so let's go with the 27, 28.5 pricing here. 28.5 pricing for the Mi Mix 2s, the lowest edition Mi Mix 2s. Uh, 28.5 for a camera that's better than the Galaxy S9, better than a ten, iPhone 10. The display looks really really nice. Uh, we have optical image stabilization. We have Snapdragon 845. 6 gigs of RAM, wireless charging. That's crazy. That's crazy. I I want this thing to come to the Philippines. I want this thing. I want this thing. <laughs> Think about I want this thing so bad. 4K video is going to look so good. Tingnan nga natin, tingnan nga natin siya kung ano explanation ni ano ni DXO Mark. Mi Mix 2S DxO Mark. Uh, there we go. A Chinese gem, according to them. Let's read this. Oh, but the other 97. Iba yung score. Okay, they might have 
a different score for video. They sometimes ha iba yung ginamit na ng score dito. So, it says 101 dito. Photo. Okay, that's why. So, total score is 97, 101 on photo. We can see the the breakdown somewhere in the bottom here. <clears throat> Usually they have like a photo score and a video score. So, mas mababa yung video score it seems like. Oh, there you go. So, the photo score is 101. The video score is 88. So, mababa baba yung video score. But 88 is still very, very nice. So, it looks like uh, Photo Pros is autofocus is very fast and accurate. White balance is mostly accurate. Colors are vivid. Noise is barely visible in most shots. Fairly good detail on close range zoom shots. Natural bokeh effect in portrait mode. Dynamic range is quite limited. Loss of detail in very low light. Color fringing and quantity. Quantization. Autofocus fast, stabilization is fairly effective, well controlled noise, colors bright and vivid, fine details lost in most conditions, slight exposure and differences in sharpness. So, um, let's look at some of the samples here. Mm. Some bokeh mode yung testing niya dito, some noise. This is the Mi Mix 2S versus the iPhone 10. I know you probably can't see the difference on stream, but uh, you can you can view the website on your um, in, on your web browser later if you want. <coughs> Whatever the case, this is a sub thirty thousand peso phone with with really really good specs. And I think ang problema lang nito is hindi siya quad HD. I think this is just 1080p display, right? Let's see. It is a 2160 by 1080 display, so it's not a Quad HD, but that's pretty good. 5.99 inch. It's running on Android Oreo, Snapdragon 845, like I said. Uh, the front camera is 5 megapixels, so no, 5 megapixels long! <sighs> what about my 25 megapixel selfie? Uh, quick charge 3.0, very nice. 3400 milliamp hour battery, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This looks very, very, very good. <laughs> very, very good. Um, for 27, 28K. So, we know nothing 30K. This is a very nice phone. Snapdragon 845. It's not Quad HD. It's not Quad HD. It's not Quad HD. But the cameras are... Are gonna... Looks like it's gonna be the camera favorite for for uh, for this year or, or something. Anyway, my you get my point. The camera is gonna be excellent. Anyway, we can move on now. <coughs> um, so a couple of phones we should talk about, but uh, also Nokia 8 gets a price cut. It's now twenty one nine ninety. Um, it supposedly has a promo, but I think it's gonna be a fixed twenty one nine ninety because the new phones. The new Nokia phones are coming out this coming week. Um, so the new Nokia 6 2018 edition will be out. Um, the new Nokia 7, the new Nokia 8 Sirocco will be launched as well. I think lahat sila man launch plus the Nokia 1 as well. Um, and you nakita niyo na sa CMK nasa 4200 si Nokia 1. Um, I don't know if I should uh, say it but I according to Memo Express and uh, Si Kuya Giancarlo ba yun or si Kuya Migs nagpunta sa Memo Express? Sabi nila fif magiging 15-ish K si, uh, si Nokia 6 2018 and tw below 20K si Nokia 7. Very, very interesting price tags. Um, uh, don't, don't quote me on that because hindi natin sigurado kung tama yung pricing na yun. We're just a rumored pricing. Uh, but if you want the Nokia 8, the, the standard Nokia 8, it's gonna be 21990 That's very nice. Although, medyo na rin. That's a Snapdragon 835, if I'm not mistaken. Quad HD display though. 22K for a Snapdragon 835 and Quad HD display. I think that's a still a great deal. Yun nga lang, hindi siya 18 by 9 ratio display. Wala siyang notch. Wala siyang face and lock. Oh, face and lock. <clears throat> Alright, so let's move on. Uh, so let's talk about Vivo V9 because I don't have anything. Wala akong kaalam alam dito, and I think it's not a bad phone per se. Particularly because nakita ko yung price and nakita ko yung specs a little bit, right? 
I gotta I gotta give Vivo props because this is a Snapdragon phone. This is a Snapdragon phone, Snapdragon 626 if I'm not mistaken. And it's priced at what, 17k? So let's check it out. Um, so it's 2.2 uh, gigahertz Snapdragon 626 octa-core, 4 gigs of RAM, 6.3 inch, very large, 2280 by uh, 1080 display. So 1080p display, but very high, very, very tall. Um, I think this is 19.5 is to 10. 19.5 uh, is to 9 ratio display. 64 gigs of storage, 16 megapixel plus 5 megapixel, 4K video. I don't think it's optically stabilized with the camera. Uh, and then Meron <laughs> Shang, 24 megapixel selfie. <coughs> and then May Fun Touch OS and whatnot, 3260 milliamp hour battery. It's gonna be 18,000 pesos, 17,990. Could be, to be completely honest, Vivo could have. Oh, narinig ako ni Motorola ko. To be completely honest, sorry, sorry, Motorola, shut up. I'm not trying to talk to you right now, Motorola. To be completely honest, Vivo could have made this so bad. Vivo, could, this could have been such a bad phone. But right now, with the Snapdragon processor, it's not the worst phone in the world right now. It's still slightly more expensive than I want it to be. Um, it has a notch. I don't know if that matters to you or not. That ma it doesn't matter to me, honestly. Um, but it does have a notch. A 6.3 inch 1080p Full HD Plus display. No optical image stabilization. I don't know what the hell are they thinking. 24 megapixel selfies because apparently you need 24 million pixels to stake your selfies. Um... And that's it. I don't know. Fun Touch OS, Snapdragon. I mean Snapdragon. Today. Snapdragon six two six with a what's it called? Uh, thirty two sixty. Imagine the battery. So thirty two sixty. I don't like that. Um, and it's not the worst phone from Vivo. I think it's gonna sell pretty well. I think it's gonna sell pretty well. I think Oppo needs to step up their game. Cause hey, I know the Oppo F seven is gonna release this week as well, but. If they don't have a Snapdragon phone, if they don't, if Oppo does not have a Snapdragon phone, I don't. It's hard to recommend because a Vivo has Snapdragon. But na baliktad na ba yung ano? Is the world upside down again? Now that Vivo is not making Snapdragon phones. At 18k, it's not bad. 18k. I mean, it could have been like 16.5. That would be much better. But uh, Vivo V9 with all the features and all that, you know, hey, 20 megapixel selfies. Oh, when I take a basketball to the court and stuff, eh, I take selfies. 24 megapixel, bro. Um, it's not bad. I don't, I, I don't care for the 24 megapixel selfies. You never need that, uh, as usual. Look at iPhone. Look at Samsung. What? Are, wh how many megapixels does an iPhone have? Kaya pinagsama mo yung front cam at back cam ni iPhone. It's only gonna be what? Uh, 17 megapixels. Kasi 5 megapixel yung front and then 12 megapixels ali ko. Kaya pinagsama mo silang tatlo. Dalawa, yung, yung iPhone 10 has two 12 megapixels sa likod. One 5 megapixels are up. That's 24 plus 5. That's only 29 megapixels. For three cameras. This has what? 16 plus 5 plus 24. That's 45 megapixels total. 45 megapixels. <laughs> what? What are we doing? What are we doing? Go ahead. What are we doing? <sighs> okay. Anyway, um, I don't understand what the mega what the megapixel race is about. Um, dito lang sa Asia umander yung megapixel race eh, because if you look at the west in the Western world, nobody buys 
big selfie smartphones. Obviously, we are the selfie capital of the world. The Philippines is the selfie capital of the world. But we're also apparently the the uto uto capital of the world. I'm not saying uh, Oppo is guilty of this too, because the uh, Oppo F5 has a 25 megapixel selfie, and the Oppo F7. I'm sorry, the upcoming Oppo F7, 25, 25 megapixels. Look at Samsung. Samsung has 12 megapixel main camera. An 8 megapixel selfie. 8 mega. What do. You're saying Vivo has a better camera selfie than Samsung S9, S9 Plus? What does Samsung know about megapixels compared to these phones? Samsung and, and Apple know it's not about megapixels. It's about the quality of those uh, mega... Anyway, yeah, alam nyo naman yun. This is the old... Matagal na natin pinag-uusapan to. But, at the end of the day, it's just a marketing number and the selfies could be okay. The selfies might be... Might be decent 12 megapixel. At, the, at this point, the 24 megapixel selfie, maybe at max, we can get a comparable decent 12 megapixel selfie out of it and at this point the rest of the megapixels the other 12 out of that 24 megapixels that's just marketing tanggapin na natin na uto-uto yung Pilipino that they think that the other 12 megapixels is important but disregarding that marketing bull crap disregarding that it might still be a decent phone because hindi ako maniniwala na 24, kailangan ko ng 24 megapixel selfie. That's never the case. Never the case. Instagram, 1080 by 1080 maximum this maximum resolution of a picture. A 1080 by 1080 picture is less than 2 megapixels. Is one point one megapixel that's the maximum resolution of an instagram photo it's it you can't have more than 1080 pixels in length or width on an instagram photo so 1080 times 1080 is 1.166 thousand pixels or 1.1 megapixels or actually, it's even smaller. So look at what you're doing. You have 24 times the megapixels. And listen, when you zoom in, ka ng, ah, I don't, I don't know. It's not gonna be that quality. But tanggalin na natin yung marketing fluff. Tanggalin na natin yung fake megapixels. Tanggalin na natin yun because it's not gonna matter. If it's, it might still be a decent phone because it's a Snapdragon 626. Thank God. For 18k, there you go. It's available in two color variants, apparently pearl black and gold, 17,990. There you go. Now we'll move on to something more important, which is the Huawei, because I think the Huawei might have something there. Um, so the Huawei, what's the name? Okay, the F Huawei P20 in the P20 Pro. It also has a notch. The Huawei P20, Kirin 970, 5.8 inch, 19 by 9 aspect ratio. I think this is a 1080. Let's check out. <clears throat> Let's do the P20 and the P20 Pro. So the P20 has a 1080p display. P20 Pro has a 1080p display. Wala na, wala na ng Quad HD ngayon, apparently. Nobody cares about Quad HD anymore. Whatever. Okay, Huawei. Uh, 128 internal storage, 4 gigs of RAM, 20 megapixel monochrome, and 12 megapixel color. Like a rear cameras with f1.6 aperture, pretty nice. F uh, 1 over 2 thirds inch sensor, very nice. 1.55 micropixels, very nice. 
uh, Huawei AIS, I don't master AI and LED flash. I don't think it has optical image stabilization. Oh, it does. Thank God. Thank you. Huawei, thank you. Thank you. <coughs> it has a 24 megapixel selfie. Sad. That's sad. Um, shoots 4K. Very nice. 3,400 milliamp hour battery. Uh, actually, what about website to Huawei? And website, please. Huawei. Wala ka bang website? Wala ka bang website? Yeah. There it is. Huawei P20. Like a dual camera. Okay, so number one thing is... Look what Huawei does. A 12 megapixel. That's its main camera. 12 megapixel. And it has a 20 megapixel monochrome for extra, you know, um, uh, composite detection or composite creation of, of camera's quality. So the 20 megapixel is not what's used. The color, the 12 megapixel camera is what's used. And the 20 megapixel is used to combine it to the 20, 12 megapixel to create high resolution or high quality 12 megapixel photos. <coughs> Let's watch this video. Huawei P20. Oh, nga, ang hirap intindihin ng Huawei na yun. Diyos ko. <laughs> yung CEO nila. Tsaka wala siyang script. Ang sakit pakinggan ng live stream nila. With extraordinary low light sensitivity. Your photos in low light are now perfectly bright. And they keep getting better at night without a tripod. Hold it. Hold it. Beautiful. With the power of AI, nothing moves too fast to stay in focus. Even her. It can turn a moment. Oh, 900. Oh, it has super slow mo. What, 720p or what? It knows which kind of scene you're trying to shoot. And the right frame, too. Perfect. That could be in a gallery. With an array of built-in lighting modes. This one I'm intrigued with, the 3D face modeling. I don't really know if it's that important. With a battery that can finally keep up with you. So how's this all possible? With this, a professional photographer, all in one tiny chip. Mastering photography has never been so. May bezel parin sa ilalim. It's may fingerprint sensor sa babae. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. It, I I like the the, Huawei, the the design, the the horizontal call the horizontal Huawei logo, the Leica logo. It makes it look like a camera when you turn it sideways. Um, but there's as you can see, the display has a a big uh, notch on the top, but also has a fingerprint sensor on the bottom, which kind of ruins it. And then you have a hundred two score on DxO Mark. This is just the P20, not even the P20 Pro, right? <clears throat> So, AI image stabilization, I think it also has OIS, so thank God. Um, so, what is... Anong, kaya, anong resolution ng slow mo niya? It doesn't say. Alright, we have 24 megapixel front camera. Uh, okay. Sensors and then receiver, whatever. 3D portrait lighting. I don't know if I really... <laughs> si Kuei and he doesn't like notches. Um, I mean, I, if, if I can avoid notches, it'd be great. Like the Samsung phones. Otherwise, it, whatever. Um, boring, 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 boring. So, it looks kind of like a pretty high-end smartphone with a really good camera. It's Huawei P20. So, let's check if there's an unbox the price. Meron ba? Meron na ba? Wala pa. Huawei P20... Price Philippines. <clears throat> Ola pa ata. Hmm. Ina natin internationally. No, not Philippines. No. Uh, Let's see if there are prices with the veg. <coughs> hmm. 
Okay. P20 Pro today for 899 euros. Makana yung P20. Oh, hey, I need to. Uh, us, huh? Makana yung P20. Uh, ano mas maganda Snapdragon or Kirin? Matas, malakas yung Snap, yung Kirin, but I prefer Snapdragon. They're very, both very powerful. In terms of uh, battery life, I would go with the Snapdragon. Uh, mas malakas, malakas yung output ng Kirin, but wala siyang parang, hindi siya masyadong low power system. Hindi siya yung, yung, um, matipid sa, hindi siya matipid sa baterya. Masyado siyang malakas. Masyado siyang powerful. Uh, magkano yung price ng ano, ng P20 lang? Ba't ang bagal mag-load ni The Verge? Oh, nice. Si P20 Pro lang may presyo eh. 900 euros. Ah, uh, euros ba yun? PHP? That's 57,000 pesos for the Pro. Kirin is similar to sa 845 but an incremental bump lang. Yeah, toto sa toto lang hindi na ako wala nang ganoon kayo. Hindi na importante mo shade yung performance ngayon, eh, sa toto lang. Eh. All right, let's talk about the P20 Pro. This is interesting. Um I don't know if Asan yung P20 Pro ayun. I don't know kung the technology is sound with the ones Ano to? But Hey? No. N what? No. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> the P20 is priced at 649 euros. So 42,000 pesos. Sabi ni Kuya Norms. And P20 Pro is 58,000 pesos. Mga ganun. Yeah. This is far and above what I would pay for a for a phone, unfortunately. This is just Extravagance to the to the nth degree for me. I don't want to pay forty two thousand pesos or or sixty thousand pesos for a phone. That's not that's not practical. That's just not practical. Um, so this is the P twenty Pro. Let's see what we can. Pareho lang ba video? Hindi. Meet the Huawei P twenty. Okay. The smartphone designed to help you see more. Okay, look at this. What does it say? You see more. It has an 8 megapixel telephoto camera. It has a 40 megapixel RGB camera right there. 20, me 20 megapixel monochrome. And it does more things about that 40 megapixels. One that sees the world in a whole new way. So you can too. Rain or shine. Water industry systems is nice. With extraordinary low light sensitivity, your photos in low light are now perfectly bright. And they keep getting better at night without a tripod. Hold it. Hold it. I think this might Beautiful. be promising in handled night mode. I don't know kung gano ko ganda, but so far, I think it's promising. And now you can zoom closer than ever before. Oh yeah, because it has a 40 megapixel camera. It zooms into the, to the frame by cropping the pixels. Since 40 megapixels, it can still make up to like a 5 times zoom because it's 8 megapixels sa pinakagitna. 5 mega, uh, no. 5 times zoom, 8 megapixels yung matitira sa 40 megapixels. And the right frame too. The studio and how's this all possible? With this. It's look it looks the same, so toto lang. So, it has 3 cameras now. Uh, 8 megapixel uh, are, uh, oh wait 8 megapixel zoom lens a 40 megapixel color lens color ca color sensor and a 20 megapixel monochrome so 20 megapixel is similar to the P20 um, the 8 megapixel is similar to the zoom lens ng P20 if I'm not mistaken I don't know if it's exactly the same megapixels but the 40 megapixels instead of a 12 megapixel color sensor now it's a 14 megapixel color sensor na gina they use basically they use Nokia's pure view technology kung natatandaan yung Nokia uh, 10 1020 
Saan ba yung 1020 ko? Oo, oh, andito yun! <laughs> If you remember <laughs> the classic I don't know, wala tong charge of course <laughs> Puro alikabok <laughs> Look at this <laughs> uh, It's in a blast from the past Ba ba ba! Wala, hindi auto focus yung yung webcam na to, by the way. It's fixed focus, right? Um, so this is the Nokia. If you remember correctly, this is a 41 megapixel Nokia Lumia 1020. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> it even comes with a. Ito yung mga hinahanap ko ngayon sa mga camera phones eh. They should have one of these, ulit. <clears throat> They should have this. The original, um, little case. Na pwede mo isaksak yung phone. So that's the case. And a grip. And then meron siyang shutter button sa taas. And then, uh, you slide the phone like this. Boom! And siya. So, may shutter button ka dito. May grip ka. So, now, you have a camera phone with a camera grip. And the best part is, well, number one, one good thing is may internal battery ito. So, it also charges the Lumia 1020. Number two, it has a tripod mount. So, this one is very handy because if you have a regular tripod, and I've used, ang gamit, gamit ko to for a long, long time sa YouTube channel ko. I put this on a tripod and I record stuff. Or I handheld it because it has a really good optical image stabilization. Uh, and I would record interviews with the Lumia 1020 before. It's a really nice phone, but uh, Windows Phone? Fuck Windows Phone. Fucking Windows. Fuck that thing. Piece of crap Windows Phone. Um, also, um, Luma name processor. It's only a dual core. The, it, it was launched when the quad core processors were becoming were actually already available. So this was late. Very, very late when it uh, was launched. And think about processing 41 megapixels. 41 megapixels, pro processing 41 uh, megapixels, right? Um, I I in a dual core 1.5 gigabyte, 1.5 gigahertz uh, uh, processor, uh, Snapdragon, before la pang Snapdragon 200, was an old Snapdragon. Uh, did, uh, uh, it was an old Snapdragon naming scheme, right? So, um, what was I saying? It had a lot of trouble processing the 41 megapixels, right? Because in the guy no processor, it's only a dual core 1.5 gigahertz. It takes. Of, uh, about one or two seconds so every time you take a shot think about your, your phones today how many how long does it take for you to take photos the Lumia 1020 kukuha ka ng isang picture chick and then you wait and then tapos papakita niya yung preview ng nakuha niya and then chick I, I can't show you right now because it's uh, I haven't used it in a while and probably sobrang low but I'm, I have to charge it um, but now that we have more powerful processors now, we have octa-core processors with um, much more powerful devices. Uh, we can definitely process 40 megapixels. And basically, the new uh, Huawei P20 Pro is using the same pure view quote-unquote technology from Nokia. It's just a different technology. It's just a bunch of number crunching pixel crunching creating a high res a, a low resolution image from a high resolution one it's kind of like anti-aliasing a computer um anti-aliasing is for example you have a 1080p game right if you want to anti-alias two times it renders your game in like uh 2160p something like i don't know i forget but anti-aliasing is basically taking a higher resolution sample and then making it into your regular resolution. That's what it. What that's what this does. 40 megapixels. It's way too huge a megapixel size uh, for for anything. 
and then it shrinks it down it include it pinagsama-sama niyo 40 megapixel into an 8 megapixel or 12 megapixel image or whatever it might need provides a higher quality image that's what the theory says that's the theory um ang hayo ko lang dito it looks like a Huawei P20 there's still a fingerprint scanner on the bottom there's still a notch i don't understand why is there both <laughs> they should be <laughs> The fingerprint scanner should be on the back Because now, now you destroy the entire look and feel of the phone There's a fingerprint scanner on the bottom There's a big bezel on the ilalim And now you have a notch on the top It's, it's broken Alright, so now it says Introducing the world's first Leica triple camera The Huawei P20 Pro pushes the boundaries of creative mode Inspired by the kinetic Whatever bullcrap um, beats the competition in virtually every category taking the number one spots in both our photo and video rankings if you're looking for the current best camera in a smartphone look no further so let's read the DxO mark for this one um, let's see Huawei P20 Pro DxO mark all right um, 109 score what is the total score from both video and photo so it looks like okay 114 for photo 98 for video so very good detail when zooming especially at medium and long range nice bokeh effect thanks to a good depth estimation and pleasant blurb image noise well under control fast and accurate autofocus good target exposure very good flash performance occasional pink cast some artifacts active particularly aliasing halos hdr scenes very efficient stabilization Good tracking, good exposure, slight stepping during exposure convergence. Okay. Frequent aliasing, loss of some fine needle in bright light, orange cast. So it's pretty, very good. Let's look at some photo. Oh, we have a video sample here. Nice. Is this in 1080p? Okay. You can definitely, there is some, oh God, see, ah, they hide. Oh, hi, hi. Hi. Raur. Serioso pa. Sexy look pa si ate, hindi man tuma, hindi nakatawa, hindi na ano. Raur! <laughs> Siyempre, tuma, that talikod daw. That talikod. Yeah! Okay. Slow mo natin si ate. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Wala lang. <laughs> Nagulat ako eh. <laughs> um, I actually, this is actually not that impressive. So, totoo lang. It's a little dull, the video quality. Then, then again, it is 1080p. So, maybe if we do short 4K. But I can see some optical, uh, the image, the electronic image stabilization makes some shaky, shaky sakes. If you look closely, let's do slow mo here. I see a bit of vibration dito eh. You know, you, you can, there's a little bit of, you know. That's electronic image stabilization. That's why I don't like electronic image stabilization. Come on. Ah, hindi, tumalikod na siya dito eh. Nasaan yung ano? There it is. Oh, there you go. There's the electronic image stabilization uh, adjusting. That's the electronic image stabilization adjusting and making false images and then artifacts. So if you watch that again in slow motion, you can see a little bit of the judder. There. See it? Yon. So that's what I don't like when you turn on electronic image stabilization. That's why you should have actual real life optical image stabilization anyway i don't know this image quality this video quality is kind of meh like look at the hair strands in ate i can't clearly see the hair strands it's out come on ate but grab it does she even blink ate do you even blink are you a robot how can i where how much can i buy you ate are you a robot this is the future. <laughs> she doesn't blink. <laughs> she's very. She's a robot. She doesn't blink. 
Um, let's look at this. Okay. Looks like how... Oh, look at this. So, Huawei P20 Pro, this is the image, right? Pretty good. I mean, it's it's there's still noise. P20 Pro. This is the iPhone 10 photo. Very dark. Very dark. But major sharp, actually. Much sharp shock as dun sa ano, the P20 Pro. When it comes to this thing. Um, look at this, major blurred, right? Oh, we can see the full resolution too. Nice. So we can see Ate like that. See Ate like that. You can uh, you can see we're we're streaming 1080 and you can see everybody right rated E for everyone tie sir. <laughs> um, you can see a little bit of the difference here. Uh, I th honestly, whatever. I think the the iPhone is slightly sharper, especially sa boobs este sa Paris France. Um, but it is noisier, right? It's noisier. This is brighter, that's for sure. Let's look at the. Google Pixel 2. Mm, this is in between, actually. Yeah. In between the noise and in between the... This is the sharpest. The, Hawa the iPhone X is the sharpest. Um, but the noisiest. The Pixel is slightly noisier. Uh, slightly less noise, but slightly, dar uh, slightly more... Uh, Less noise, but slightly brighter, but also blurrier. If you can see, right? Less noise, brighter, but blurrier. And then the Huawei is the least noise. The the, the uh, what am I saying? The least noise, the brightest, but also the blurriest. Uh, I don't know what I would like there. <clears throat> oh, that's a bokeh mode. Hey, whatever. Anyway. So according to this, yeah, pretty decent. Five lux. One, the, some of these are very, very hard to compare, honestly. Huawei P20. This is how many me megapixels. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, they have Atis. This Atis is not very nice, but she's okay. Um... Anyway, we're not in Machado in nitpick. Let's just say the cameras are very good, right? Um, I will try. I will trust DxO Mark to a certain extent. I'm gonna give them like you know 50, 50 you know, slightly varying levels of whatever. You know, when it says 109, I don't take it as as uh, as gospel na 109 sha. I'm gonna say. It scores around 20 points below and 20 points higher, right? So, po, halos katalo niya lang si iPhone and halos katalo niya lang si, um, si Google, Google Pixel XL2 or whatever. Magkakalapit na sila and also uh, the Galaxy S9, right? At this point, uh, within 20 points sa GX or Mark, magkakalapit na kayo. Within 10 points, obrang... Sobrang magkakalapit na kayo, right? Sa, sa quality of photos. That it doesn't really matter. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. It's all about if the phone is good for you. And the camera is sometimes a big proponent of that. But also, you're paying for 60K. You're paying 60,000 pesos for this phone. Just for the camera. 60,000 pesos. Para lang makita mo si ate na hindi hindi na hindi pumipikit. Para lang makita ka ng ate na hindi pumipikit. You pay 60,000 pesos. She's looking into your soul. <laughs> What's up Goya Antonio Arenas? <laughs> hindi siya pumipikit. Anyway, Let's just say the camera is very good. Wag na nating sa being higher than whatever, better than whatever. Let's just say the cameras are very good. Oh, my price is na dito. Um, what's the price? Okay, ito pala, galing sa Yugatech, but this is probably just converted. 
60,000 pesos 58. Malamang 60,000 ito. 59,995 na lang for the P20 Pro. Are you gonna pay 60k for your phone? I'm not. I'm not. I'm very happy with my HTC 10, which is 20k. 18k nung binili ko. 18k. Very quad HD display. This is a quad HD display. This has more pixels in its display than that. Okay? Okay? What's going on? Why are we going back to 1080p? Why are we going back to 1080p? Why? Why are we going back to 1080p? Anyway. Um, I think the P20 Pro might be a great phone. Might be a great camera uh, in a phone. Might be a great smartphone. Medyo, no thank you. Ako sa 60,000 peso price point. Uh, Lionel Shoko says, mukhang tama na lang pag Xiaomi na lang. Yeah, sa totoo lang. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. We were just... We were just talking about the Mi Mix 2S. Balik tayo sa Mi Mix 2S because I really wanna... Mi Mix 2S. The Mi Mix 2S priced at uh, just under 30,000 pesos already has a really high DxO mark. What did we get? Mi Mix 2S DxO Mark. It even has an optically image stabilized optically image stabilized camera, and the score is 97. So, magkano yung score ni? Alwat na wala. Pinate pinos ko pala yung music ko na kalimutan ko. How much does was the DxO Mark of the P20 Pro? 101, 107, or something like that? Just 10 points behind, and 30,000 pesos cheaper is the Mi Mix 2S. Just 20,000 pesos cheaper. Uh, just 30,000 pesos cheaper. <laughs> just another extra four phones in your pocket cheaper is the Mi Mix 2S. Wala nga lang ate na hindi pumipikit. <laughs> Honestly, if I were to choose, I would have this na lang. The Mi Mix 2S. I'll load the custom ROM. Eh, not, not the custom ROM. I'll just load the uh, Nova Launcher. Um, magkano si P20 Pro? Hindi pa po 107. Eh, yeah. 109. 109. This is 97. But the difference is 30,000 pesos. You can buy two Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S before you can buy a Huawei P20 Pro. That's a bit overkill. Considering the specs are the same. Kirin 970 versus Snapdragon 845. Full HD displays with slightly taller aspect ratio. This doesn't have a... F this doesn't have a notch this has a notch and a bezel on the bottom. This has a bezel on the bottom and fingerprint scanner on the back. This has nearly bezel-less display. Both of them have a Chinese ROM or a, 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 a UI that does not have the, the app drawer. <laughs> so we're going to have to load Nova Launcher or something on it. Um, I think for me, I think I would recommend the Mi Mix 2S instead. Um, and sobrang just, oh, that's a little overkill for 60,000 pesos. Look at this, 101 on photo, 114, and then 88 on video, 98 on video. That's pretty nice. Uh, I mean, wala bang, may HTC 10 ba dito? I don't think so. Kasi I don't think, uh, bihira lang sila mag-review ng, they actually don't review everything, DxO Mark. Yeah, then. HTC 10, there we go. <laughs> 88 points. Haha, <laughs> dito pala tayo. Mami! 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 
Mommy, 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 get the camera. Mom, get the camera. <laughs> this is my phone. This is me. Koya, if you compare, this is Bristler, the regular S9. Okay. Meron di ing DX on Mark X9. Di nyo ba alam? <laughs> Meron. Ah, oh, 99 points. Huh? 97 si Mimix 2S, 99 si Galaxy S9 Plus. And I think po same lang siya sa Galaxy S9. It's halos. Like, may zoom in lang kasi si ano eh, sa P9 Plus. Eh, S9 Plus. Mami! Mami! Mom! Mami! Mama! Asan ba yan? Si ano yan? Si, uh, sa family guy yun eh. Si, ano pangalan ng bata? Mami! Stewie. There it is. Oh, what is that? But Hulu? Lewis! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! 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 Mama! <laughs> Mama! Mama! Ma! 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 That's what I remember Mom. in this Mommy! Mom! Mommy! Mom! Mom! Mom. Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> walang, walang kinalaman sa topic at hand. Natanda ko lang. Um, this is me! This is my phone! Look at it! 88 points! I'm so proud! I'm so proud! It's like... It's like my baby! My baby! Malapit na rin, tapos magbabayad ka pa ng kay sobra naman na hindi mo lagi ginagamit. Exactly, exactly. So, this is a good like indication. This is, this is me. This is what I use every day. 88 points. I'm really proud that it's got 88 points. Ang problema lang kasi sa DxO, um, like for example, what kind of... Uh, so, ano ba yung... Wait, I wanted to... Ano pa bang phone sa meron sila? Uh, mobile. Mom, mommy, mommy. Let's go then. Si Nokia 808 Pure View is here. 61 points. Um, Nokia 8 is 68 points. Mo baba. Let's see. Uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 is 70 points. I have that. My old school Nexus 6P is 73 points. Uh, Galaxy S6 Edge is 82 points. LG V30 is 82 points. Mo baba. XZ Premium 83 points. Xiaomi Mi Note 3 is 90 points. HTC U11 is 90 points. Wait, nasan yung HT LG uh, HTC 10? Tinanggal nila dito. Hindi ba 88 points ako? Why is it not here? Mami! Mom! Uh, iPhone 8 Plus is 94. Mi Mix 2S is 90. Look at this! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Number 7! Number 7 in the top cameras sa DxO Mark si Mi Mix 2S and ako 90, 88 nasa 88 ako so let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 16th 16th rank in the top smartphones uh, camera whatever I'm very happy with that kind of score um, I know hindi lahat ito. Ang problema lang kasi they don't review a lot of phones. Eh. They they marami silang na skip eh. Um, but I like that. That's very nice. I like that we're number uh, we're score 88. Ngayon ko lang nakita yun, Actually, ngayon ko lang nakita na 88 points tayo. I'm happy. I'm happy to do that. Um, <laughs> that makes me not want to upgrade anymore kasi malapit lang. Which is which is nine points difference, right? Nine points difference. Between HTC 10 and Mi Mix 2S. Nine points. And what the amount of difference? 11 points from the Galaxy S9. 11 points from the Galaxy S9. That's me. This is me. Love this phone.
I mean, Quad HD display pa. <laughs> Unfortunately, wala na kayo mabibili. Ang <laughs> hirap na hanapin ng HTC 10 dito sa Pilipinas. Oh, man. Alright, alright. I think that's about it. We should call it we should call it a day. I think we've done our, our part. I think the Mi Mix 2 S. Wait, this is the Mi Mix 2 lang. Where's the Mi Mix 2 S? Uh, wala pang site si Mi Mix 2 S. Ito na lang tayo sa Android Pit. Whatever. Hindi pa ako napunta sa website na to. I like this phone. I mean, may slow mo siya, right? Di ba? Ay, saka meron siya wireless. Wireless charging. How about Xiaomi gaming phone? I remember now. Yeah, they were gonna announce this. Bago tayo matapos. Uh, tayo sa GSM. First Black Shark gaming smartphone teaser reveals a curvy corner. Oh, mukha siyang Oppo. We are eagerly awaiting to hear more about the Black Shark gaming smartphone. This is a Xiaomi-backed company that is planning to release a gaming-oriented smartphone to complete with their first-generation Razer phone. The phone has already been spotted in a couple of benchmarks. And an invitation has been sent out for an April 13 event in Beijing, China. The latest piece of news surrounding the Black Shark is a teaser that pulls back the covers on the corner of the phone, revealing a smartphone body with a large curved corner, contrasting the Razer phone's blocking appearance. Mm -hmm. Snapdragon 845, 6 gigs, 8 gigs, 256 gigs sort. Buti na lang yung mga information na ganito, hindi price pony levels na eh, no? Buti na lang, hindi na uso yung fake news. Kung hindi, napaprice pony tayo dito araw-araw. This is promising, but I don't think gaming on a smartphone is is that important. I mean, sure, no uso ang mga rules of survival, no uso ang PUBG Mobile, no uso ang ano pa yung isa? Ah, Fortnite for Android wala pa eh. So ano yung nakalimutan ko yung isa? Um, ano yung isa uh, PUBG Sus Ano yung sa panilang ano? In Knives Out, okay. Basta Xiaomi best. Oh, well, the Black Shark is not necessarily Xiaomi. It's another brand. It's another brand, but it's like I said, like they said, the Xiaomi back company. It could be a 120 hertz display, which is similar to the Razer phone 120 hertz display. Unfortunately, sa 120 Hz display, konti pa lang yung games na supported. For phones, ah, for phones. For, for PC, marami. So, you gotta watch... Uh, you gotta think about what you need a 120 Hz smartphone for. Uh, one thing you also need to think about is, do you really want to play games on your phone that much? Do you, do you find yourself in many at many times of the day... Wanting to play games on your phone. Because eh. I don't. I have other things. I have basically, I play a lot of games on the PC. I play a lot. I have a Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah, I have a Nintendo Switch. Eh. You know, But for person, for people now, on Nintendo Switch, for example, and uh, they don't bring a lot of gadgets. They bring their phone. For example, they pila ka sa government office and sa whatever. Uh, FBI clear, NBI clearance, uh, LTO, or whatever, anywhere na nakapila ka sa MRT. Siyempre, generally, you don't bring a, a gaming machine like a Nintendo Switch or a DS or PS Vita or something like that. So, phones usually yung kinagamit ng tao. And I admit, I want to say 99% of people dito sa Pilipinas, when they play games outside of their houses, they're playing games on their phones. And... <laughs> sa totoo lang, talagang no, napaka-common site na to eh. Anywhere you go. Anywhere you go. Pumunta ka ng SM Mega Mall. Pumunta ka ng bus station. Pumunta ka ng MRT station. Pumunta ka ng everybody's playing. Sa at least one guy 
one guy or girl is playing a game on their phone now. Wala nang, wala nang exception ngayon. Everybody is playing something on their phone. So, it makes sense that a, a gaming phone is going to be released. But I don't know if it's gonna be that important because hindi naman ganun ka hardcore yung gamers ng phones. Major niche, major niche. But you know, if you're in the market, if you have the money and you play a lot of freaking ROS or Knives Out or PUBG Mobile, go. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's be, it's gonna be enough. The thing is, is PUBG Mobile or ROS or Knives Out gonna have support 120 hertz? That's the question. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. But we, uh, the time will tell, Um But for now, it's a question mark. It's a question mark. Or Fortnite. Fortnite is coming to Android then eventually. It's gonna take a while, but it's gonna come to Android eventually. So, this is interesting, but I don't think it's gonna be that important. By the way, my Razer phone is here, right? Razer phone Philippines. Not so 42,000 ba yun? Um, si ano ata eh? Si... Widget City. Yeah, there you go. Si bossing... Oh, mura na lang! 37.5! It's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Razer phone. Obviously, walang warranty an, because it's gray market, and it's gonna use a major older processor, Snapdragon 835 now. But it is a Razer phone and whatnot. But it's an interesting phone nonetheless. Uh, <clears throat> Sadly, ang nauso sa akin puro online gacha games like FGO and some sa Kuo up. Yeah, I see a lot of people playing those as well. Yung mga Final Fantasy na yung magsasummon ka and then random yung summon and stuff like that. Pwede ka magbayad, summon ulit. Uh, back to the Rage days. I only have is my phone lang, sabi ni Leon Shoko. Wala mi handheld na iba. Rip my PSP. Yun lang. Um, honestly, I, th- I don't think anybody should... I mean, I think having a Nintendo Switch is a luxury na talaga. Um, it's a more superior gaming machine, that's for sure. But... When I'm outside, I guess if I can't play games, I just watch videos on or something. I get, I'm not, I unfortunately am not part of the gen, of the uh, main, uh, you know, mainstream population. But thankfully, I don't have to do a lot of waiting for MRT or no, because I, taong bahay ako. I like staying at home. Thankfully, thankfully, I don't have uh, a um. Most people, kasi obviously, uh, nine, siguro 99% of adults, they have to go to the office. They have to go to work, right? Ako, I have a more flexible schedule. And I can I can stay at home most of the time if I wanted to. I skip events. I just stay at home. I write stuff. I make videos. Um, it's a it's a career choice that I wanted to do from, from when, when... Back when I was full-time pa, I wanted to say, asabi ko, I don't want to... I don't want to have this nine to five job that I have to take uh, a jeep one and a half hours to go to and one and a half hours to go back. Because I noticed that hindi may pera ako, I, I earn a lot of money or I earn a decent amount of money. Pero wala akong, hindi ko siya magas- magawa, magamit because pag dating ko ng bahay alas nueve na ng gabi, halos hindi nang ako kakain, magkatulog na lang ako. Eh. And then gigising ako, papasok na, I have to get ready for work. Um, I have very little time for myself or I have literally like babagsak ka na lang, and then gising ka trabaho and then babagsak gising ka kain sandali trabaho and then walang ano walang I, I can't wala ko wala, hindi ako nakakapunta ng mall because tapos na inter- pauwi ako 9pm or whatever lunch time lang ako nakakapag mall <laughs> nung time na yun eh. so sabi ko Ayoko nung ganun. Ayoko nung... Wala akong oras para sa... Uh, hindi ako nakapag... Nakakabili ako ng games. Nakakabili ako ng console noon. Nung uh, full-time job ako. Hindi ako nakakapaglaro ng games. <laughs> Ang dami ko na. Nakakabili ako ng malaking TV noon. Actually, lum- yung TV ko noon yung mataba. Yung 32-inch na matabang TV galing sa PL. Nakabili ako ng Xbox 360. Nakabili ako ng surround sound system na pangarap ko noon, noon pa. Ever since nakita ko sa tito ko yun sa US, yung surround sound system niya, sabi ko gusto ko ng surround sound system para sa mga movies, para sa mga games. Uh, Noon nabuo ko yun dahil sa trabaho na yun, sa full-time job. Pero hindi ko malaro. <laughs> it's like, 
minsan yung yung oras ko sa ano sa trabaho okay sabi ko pagdating ko sa bahay maglalaro ako kahit one hour lang hindi pagdating ko sa bahay kusa upo ako ganon <laughs> tulog na <laughs> and then ha huh, huh, shit alas ko na <laughs> papasok na ako <laughs> wala wala kang oras mo siya I mean uh, other people can definitely do the 9 to 5 or do the full time job or uh, something in between but uh, nung noon pa sabi ko I don't want to do this uh, the entire time uh, the, my, indoor adult, my entire adult life so hin- sinunubo kong hanapan ng uh, alternative means it's not for everybody this this ki- type of work that I'm doing is not for everybody um, because maraming struggles it's not easy it's not easy um, it's not as stable as a regular job uh, so I don't uh, but the advantage is I don't have to you know hindi ako, pum- hindi ako pumpila sa MRT hindi ako mga ano I don't have to go to work and what not uh, so y- yung, yung, yung side effect noon is I don't need to have a portable gaming machine or a port I don't regularly play on my phone so I don't have any games on this phone on the HTC 10 I don't have any games on it I don't have any games on the Motorola I don't have any games on the Blackberry Priv those are my three main phones eh. which is on the Blackberry Nasa baba ata na iwan ko. Um, and thankfully I can spend money on the Nintendo Switch if I can and buy games on it but anyway masyado na tayong malayo masyado na tayong wala na kinalaman yung ating story time uh, if you're interested that's an interesting new phone that is gonna be like I said since now usulit ang mobile gaming because of PUBG Mobile, because of Rules of Survival, because of Nights Out, because of Fortnite, this might have a future. This might have a future, but it might not be for me because I don't play a lot of games on my phone. Uh, si Kuya Lionel Shoko, it might be for him. Uh, depende, unless, you know, baka naman yung, ga- yung games na nilalaro mo won't, won't need 120 Hz. So that's something to think about as well. Anyway, HTC 10, <laughs> 88 points on uh, the XM mark. Yay! Ay, sa totoo lang ay, I think if if HTC 10 was more available sa Pilipinas, it would be big. I would I would recommend an HTC 10 for a lot more people. Short lang. What is this? Uh, oh yeah, uh, ano to? GTX. What is this? Soon there will be 24 Max U laptops available for sale. So this is the GS65 Stealth Gigabyte R Aero. Sadly, walang Gigabyte Aero sa Pilipinas. It's one of my favorite models. Gigabyte Aero is so nice. Zephyrus M, na pag-usapan natin kanina. Xiaomi Mi Gaming Laptop. Oh, okay, that's Max Q apparently. And 70 over 70 GeForce GTX laptops on the way. The thing is, okay, okay, ito, ito yung masasabi ko lang sa mga gaming laptops na nilabas. Yung Coffee Lake laptops na yan. There's one thing I want to say is that you might want to wait. You might want to wait a little bit. Can I get like a full screen here? Turn on tayo. There we go. Let's do that. <laughs> Para magamit ko naman yung green screen, di ba? Uh, ang masasabi ko lang, masasabi ko din is we might want to wait for 11th gen GPUs. We might uh, not 11th gen, GTX 1100 series or 11 se- 10 series, yeah, 11 series. Because from what I can sort of imagine, or from the rumors that I've been getting, sa July maglalaunch si Nvidia ng bagong GPUs ng 11 uh, G. In, <laughs> Tatakdian <laughs> ng uh, 11th gen no hindi 11th gen eh um, 11th series kasi 10th series si Pascal eh si GTX 1080 si GTX 1080 Ti 1070 Ti 1070 1060 1050 Ti 1050 and then 1030 those are all 10 series G, G, GeForce graphics card, right? 
Uh, Khalil Christopher, I want to build a PC. Should I get uh, go for Intel or AMD? That's a very good question. Uh, depends on your budget. Um, and depends on your needs, actually. I'm. I think for a lot more builds, Intel is more friendly. Uh, Intel is friendly for budget builds, extreme budget builds, because you have the G4560 KB Lake processor, which is still the king of budget builds. The king of budget builds is still the G4560. The king of high-end gaming builds is the Intel 8700K 8th Gen. Uh, that is a 6-core, 12-thread high-end gaming processor. 8700k if you it's if it's a pure gaming system and you're you there's no money you don't care about how much money you spend for consumer level 8700k is the best you can get it's even better than the highest ryzen 1800x for gaming for gaming if you want to do other things like render video or do you know um Adobe Premiere, edit video, a lot of video, or process a lot of video. You want to get the Ryzen 1800X if you have the money. Ha the price of Intel 8700K is basically almost uh, pound for pound similar to the Ryzen 8700, uh, the, the Intel 8700K and then Ryzen 1800X. They are competing processors at the price range, supposedly. Dami tao sa Xiaomi Mega Mall ganina. Um, bumili ako sa Xiaomi Mega Mall recently. I bought a bunch of things. I bought uh, these. Uh, these are the uh, what is it called? These are uh, range extenders. These are Wi-Fi range extenders. Actually, when you buy a Wi-Fi range extender, you have to be careful because this one is already opened and broken. So once I go back to Mega Mall, I'm gonna ask for a, a replacement, siguro dito. Uh, the thing is, tanggal na yung USB niya. <laughs> when you take this cap off, tanggal na yung USB niya. Uh, looks like the stick, the glue that they use for the USB got broken. I'm um, using the other one. This one is still working. 399 pesos for the range extender. I'll look for the other Xiaomi stuff. Give me one. Give me five seconds. Yeah. <sighs> I promise you I was going to buy stuff from Xiaomi, didn't I? I was not lying. <laughs> um, pero hindi ako bumili ng ano, remote, ay, nung robot, ano. Hindi ako bumili ng robot uh, vacuum cleaner yet kasi wala pa akong pera. <laughs> wala pa akong pera, bro. <laughs> I bought another one of these. This is uh, the four-port charger. But... This is the other one because I bought another one. So these are two four-port chargers. This one, I want to Manila. Dito sa Manila ito four-port charger. And then this one, the daling ko sa probinsya. I ko sa probinsya. So I don't have to bring this anymore sa bag. Kasi na bibigat na ako sa bag ko. Eh. I bring too much stuff when I go home to Pampanga. So babawas ako ng bab. The daling ko, the dalan ako. Magiwan ako ng headphones. Magiwan ako ng uh, chargers, magiwa na ako ng whatever sa probinsya. Uh, I also bought uh, these. mga ito yung alkaline batteries nila, yung yung rainbow batteries nila. 110 pesos for 10 pieces of double A batteries, and then 110 pesos for triple A batteries. So these are great because these are so affordable. Kumpara mo sa ganito. Kung para mo sa ganito, ready na gold. This is a hundred plus pesos per piece of alkaline battery. Hundred plus pesos for this. Hindi ba? Hindi ba? Ang mahal nito eh. Ang mahal ng yung branded alkaline batteries. These are Xiaomi alkaline batteries. Hundred ten pesos for ten pieces. Eleven pesos each battery. Alkaline from Xiaomi. And then meron ka pa nung case. Meron kang plastic case. Look at that thing. Huh? Cool. Very, very nice. Affordable batteries. Very nice. Um, what else did I buy? I think that's it. I bought five items here. Two of these. Two of these. Yeah. Uh, and then one of one of each AA and AAA. Two of the Wi-Fi repeaters. And then one of these 
four port chargers. That's what I bought. Ubusan na sila ng USB cable na may th- uh, USB Type C adapter. Uh, that's what I bought. So very nice, very nice. Um, late si Brian Valle. That's okay, dude. <laughs> But yung Redmi 5A, 5,400 pesos sa Mega Mall. Yun nga eh. Bakit nga ba? Di ba 4.7 lang yun? Yeah, I know. That's weird, ano? Um, maybe, ano yun? Maybe uh, dahil sa retail. I don't know, really. Um, I didn't... I haven't asked them why the prices are different. <laughs> I haven't asked them that. Um, if there's any issue, just buy online, I guess. One thing I can say is sa online kasi hindi sila bumabayad ng retail uh, store. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, for once, after this whole new PC change on mine, maybe I'll get that router in Xiaomi store yung 1K something para tumago sa walls. I have that as well. This is a... Uh... Pero ano lang to ha? Two ports lang ito eh. Gusto nyo makita yung background. <laughs> I have that as well. Hindi ko pa nabubuksan. Ito bigay sa akin. This is Gib. That... Sorry, binabalik ko dito sa BTS na layout kasi wala tayong chat dito. There you go. 1,150 ata, I don't, if I remember correctly. So one thing you need to remember with this is there's only two ports Ethernet sa likod. Uh, this is just two ports Ethernet. Uh, but I like this. But unfortunately, two ports Ethernet will not serve my serve my purposes. So hindi ko pa siya binubuksan. What I did was I ordered a 8-port... Ethernet switch sa Lazada for 1,300 pesos. 1,350 ata. Walang Wi-Fi. 8-port Ethernet switch because I need gigabit Ethernet. Uh, kasi right now, naka-network yung mga computers ko with 100 Mbit Ethernet dito sa luma kong wireless end router na um, Linksys. Linksys wireless end router na 100 Mbit connection. Um, there is a reason why I want gigabit Ethernet Dito sa local network ko uh, Is to improve uh, streaming sa Twitch ko Because I'm gonna stream uh, The video from my uh, desktop to my laptop Right now I'm capturing kasi Right now I'm using a capture card to capture the video from the desktop Which is this this desktop right here where you can see my mouse I'm capturing it with a capture card right now 1080p capture 30 FPS Popunta sa laptop but I'm gonna use a different technique when I'm playing games I'm gonna use a different technique that uses my Ethernet connection and I'm gonna need gigabit Ethernet to send high resolution not high resolution but low compression data through the gigabit Ethernet lines Popunta dun sa laptop ko what that's gonna do is, I can now, instead of just playing at 1080p, I can play at 1440, I can play at 4K, and then I can send the data over to the laptop, and the laptop can stream it to Twitch. So, that's the reason why I'm upgrading to a gigabit Ethernet. Uh, hindi, kasi yung internet ko, hindi naman umabot ng isang gigabit per second, di ba? So, ang internet ko is just, what, 50 Mbit and about 90 Mbit. 100 Mbit uh, So Ang bala ko lang Bumili ako ng gigabit switch With 8 ports So I can connect my desktop And my laptop together Bolt, bolt in sila Gigabit connection For streaming For game streaming It's not It's gonna, not gonna take an, Have an effect sa BTS Because I don't use BTS for that That's not what I use for BTS Saito uh, Techman Mahal baka may component Made of sugar at apektado sa trailer. What? <laughs> Alin yung mahal? What is? Aning mahal dun? Yung router? Uh, Kuya Gian says, Kuya, may bala ka bang ibenta yung 2-port Xiaomi mo? Eh, eh, you want it? Pag-usapan natin. If you want it, I can... Yeah, pag-usapan natin. No problem. I'm, I don't have a use for it eh, right now. So, we can we can talk about it. Uh, there you go. All right. Because <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm not gonna need it uh, for for a very long time if I'm gonna ha- 
Kung magpapalit man ako ng ng Wi-Fi, no, not really. Kasi nandito pa naman yung Wi-Fi kong... Medyo luma na yung Wi-Fi ko, but a lot of my devices, the important ones are connected through to Ethernet. <laughs> yung laptop ko, naka-Ethernet. <laughs> oh, by the way, did I mention naka-Alienware graphics amplifier ako? I don't know kung sin... Did I mention that before? I have an Alienware graphics amplifier now. Um, paano ko ba mapapakita sa inyo? Oh, god dang it. Uh, do I have a photo? No, I don't have a photo of my graphics amplifier. Ito na lang. I'm just gonna take a photo of it. It has a te uh, paraffle. Now, grabe naman kayo. Because the PLDT fiber router is so crappy. Yes, the PLDT router is crappy. <laughs> Totoo yan. <laughs> Wait lang. Pinapawisan ako. Um, I-upload ko lang siya. Se use as... No, not use as. Add to album. Thumb stuffs. Also, I need... My phone needs charging. Uh, of course, my Type-C cable. I have an Alienware graphics amplifier. I bought it secondhand for 7k, 7,000. Nagparaffle na tayo. Eh. Medyo na walang na walang nang ako ng ganas sa raffle, kasi dami ng reklamo pang hindi ko na papadala agad. Mahirap ang buhay ng ganito. Uh, ang <laughs> baba ng quality. HTC 10 ba yan? Ang baba ng quality ng photo. Just ka na kaya. Sa pa. Ano nangyari? Ba't ang baba quality? Sa pa? Okay. <laughs> Nahiya ako ah. Ang baba ng quality, hindi naka-focus. Naka-back focus din eh. Alright, tingnan natin. Let's look at this one. Kasi itim yung subject. Pag itim yung subject, syempre medyo mas mahirap din. <laughs> uh, still waiting sa lugar namin kung may fiber. Peel it, ano to? Peel it for now on 6 Mbps DSL for now. That's okay. I mean, unless sobrang lakas mo mag-streaming, right? Nag-upload na ba siya? Nang photos ko? Kuya, i-upload mo na yung photo. Ayun o, mas maganda yung bago. Add to album. Thumb stuffs. Ayun na, nag-upload na. Kaya mo yan. Bilisan mo. Ano na. <coughs> oh, malaki yung Alienware talaga. Yung graphics amp. Diyos ko. <laughs> Nakakatakot. Pero pinapadali niya yung buhay ko. <laughs> Kasi nandiyan nakakabit lahat ng USB peripherals ko <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, alam niyo, okay, so in, in case you don't know, the the Alienware graphics amplifier has four USB 3.0 ports sa likod. Uh, yeah, so four USB 3.0 ports sa likod. So I have a uh, wireless keyboard mouse, I have webcam, I have even nakikita niyo yung kulay blue na cable, itong kulay blue na cable na to. Nakita, ano yan? Yan yung LAN ko. Yan yung uh, LAN connection ko. <laughs> Why? Why? Because ayoko na magsaksak kabit sa likod ng Alienware laptop. Right? So, every time binaba ko yung Alienware laptop ko dito, dalawa lang kinakabit ko. Charger, and then yung Alienware graphics amplifier. Dalawang kable lang. Hindi ako nagkaka... Okay. Tignan nyo. Isipin nyo kung gano'ng karaming kable kakabit ko. Kung... Kakabit ako ng keyboard, kakabit ako ng mouse, kakabit ako ng webcam, kakabit ako ng wireless, wireless, ano, wireless headset. Hmm. Ano pa ba yung kinakabit ko dyan? Marami pa. Card reader. Uh, ano pa ba nandyan? Webcam. Ah, yung ano, capture card. I think I connect at least 7 USB devices. 
to my laptop whenever I put it down. <laughs> so, ano kay ano yung shortcut? Lahat sila nasa Alienware graphics amplifier. Bababa ko yung Alienware laptop, bubuksan ko siya, kabit ko yung charger, kabit ko yung graphics amplifier, tapos na ako. Naka-LAN port na siya, naka-LAN cable na siya. Kasi normally, bababa ko siya, charger, HDMI cable, display port cable, kasi dalawang, dalawang extra display. HDMI cable, display port cable, Ethernet cable, and then seven USB peripherals na naka USB hub. So dalawang USB hub yon. At least five cables kinakabit ko. At least every time. Which is matrabaho, naglilipat lipat. Anyway, 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 my point is malaki binawas. Malaki binawas. Wait, seven ba? One, two, three, four, five. 3, 4, 5, 6 6 yung kinakabit ko Kasi dalawa nakahab Power Ethernet Dalawang display Dalawang hub Dalawang USB hub Power, Ethernet Display, display Ngayon It's just power, ether, power and Alienware graphics amplifier Mas mabilis Mas mabilis ka nagtatanggal kabit uh, kung hindi talaga sa streaming and such Pwede na rin HXDD uh, Sa totoo lang Medyo ano kasi ako eh, Medyo perfectionist ako Kaya gusto ko mag gigabit ethernet uh, the, the plugin that I need to use for streaming is Called um, NDI OBS NDI OBS So I can show you right now what it is So ito yun um, I, don't, I use a different Kasi, okay, this is the OBS Studio. This is a new version. I use OBS Classic for BTS. NDI OBS, this is it, NDI, right? Transmits video, uncompressed video. This is uncompressed video through the network to another computer. And then, ang gagawin nun, sas sasagapin ng isa pang computer, which is gonna be the Alienware, sasagapin ng kab kabilang computer yung video, uncompressed video, and siya yung magre-render papunta sa stream. Um, ang maganda nun is, it will allow me to play in 4K, it will allow me to play in 1440p. Hindi katulad nito na yung desktop ko is running at 1080p. This is 1080p. As you can see. Because I'm using a traditional capture card, which only... Which only allows for 1080p 30 FPS capture, which is very boring when you have a 4K TV. I want to play 4K. I want to play 1440p. And I tried streaming with the 100 Mbit connection. Sa aking ano ngayon, connection ko ngayon. Naglalag siya. Medyo may frame script, right? So if I'm Ang problem niya kasi is recommended ni NDS OBI, uh, OBS NDI is 150 Mbits. 150, which is hindi pasok si 100 Mbit ng traditional Ethernet. So I'm gonna upgrade to Gigabit Ethernet just for smooth streaming with a two-computer setup using NDI OBS. Long story, you don't need to know about it because masyadong... This is... Ito yung ano eh... This, eh I love the technology of streaming. I love the bit. I love talking about bit rates. I love talking about 4K. I love talking about capture software. That's ay uh, yun yung ano yun, nasa, yun yung laging nasa utak. Yun yung parang hobby ko ngayon na parang capture 60 FPS, 4K, 1440p, lahat yon, gaming at full resolution and everything. So wala lang, yun yung parang hobby ko. Uh, you don't need to know about this, sorry. This is too much too much for for a lot of people. I'm not saying wala kayong alam sa computers, wala kayong alam sa streaming. I'm saying this is overkill. Hindi gigabit internet ko yan. Gigabit ethernet between between network lang, between local networks. <laughs> it's just going to be between my desktop and my laptop in the same in the same uh, ethernet network. Uh so that's basically just transferring files basically just transferring files between two computers in the same uh, local network diba 
yun yung 192.168.1 that something something maglalagin kayo sa compu- kabilang computer network neighborhood if you kung natatandaan niyo pa yung mga network neighborhood days and then magkakopy ka ng files sa kabilang computer and then makikita mo okay nagko-copy siya ng files yeah, yeah. that is the speed that is the speed of your local network and generally ang speed noon is 10 Mbps or 10 Mbit or 100 Mbit, right? 100 Mbit. Um, but uh, because I'm going to use a very high-end technology or a very, very specific, very non-mainstream technology that transfers uncompressed video from my high-end desktop to my <laughs> my Alienware laptop. I have to have gigabit Ethernet. Sorry, medyo ma- ano yun? That's <laughs> this is this is TMI. This is too much information for ano. Uh, but long story short, nagorder ako ng gigabit switch. Um, and I also ordered more uh, gigabit Ethernet cables. Uh, I'm just making sure, just in case yung current ethernet cables ko which should be compatible to gigabit ethernet i'm just making sure if hindi sila compatible i ordered more gigabit cables all right uh tama si brian valley this is too much for me to take <laughs> lendel john aquino knowledge knowledge nyo siya ko mukhang malayo pa ata malayo pa ata me since low tech pa ata me <laughs> Pero view knowledge pills man. If uh, like this this kind of information is uh ano ba? this kind of parang geekiness over this small very specific things about streaming is is mga streamers kahit streamers hindi ko makakausap with this because I am so masyadong ano masyado kong hindi man advanced but more like uh Yung hobbies ko, I like pushing the boundaries of of what of 4K or, or high resolution stuff is. That's why that's why I have to deal with these things. Um, nakita niyo naman yung YouTube ko is yung videos ko are generally in 4K, so parang kasama na yun dun. Uh, si Lambo guys, si ano yun? si uh, ano pangalan nun? God dang. I want to say Josh, but not Josh. Eh. Si ano yun? Ah, nakalimutan ko yung pangalan niya. Sa office ko is naka MacBook 2015 in 4K TV. Ryan Valley, hindi nagikines yun ko ya. <laughs> Ganun ba? Alright, uh, anyway, uh, I think we should call it a day. That's it for our stream. Uh, 12.20 na. So that makes our stream like, what? Two hours and a half? <clears throat> Thank you very much for watching. That's been our big time show for uh, April 7, 2018. Uh, very interesting show. I don't know if kayo ay masyadong. I know there's... Ako masasabi ko, there's a lot of really cool things. There's also a lot of... Oh, si Tai Lopez. There you go. A lot of really cool things. A lot of kind of meh things. But thankfully, Vivo is uh, now using a Snapdragon processor. I want to see what Oppo's processor, Oppo F7, is going to be. If it's not a Snapdragon, medyo, may, may, medyo malabo. Medyo malabo ang usapan. Uh, late na si Brian Valle, sin lang. Um, also, the new laptops are interesting. D- lot of new developments that not necessarily will make a difference right now sa mga purchases nyo. But since lahat ng mga yan magti trickle down to lower budget devices, in about six months, siguro meron na tayong mga budget 8th gen gaming laptops na medyo pasok na sa presyo na, pasok na sa so budgets natin and uh, it's going to be very interesting it's going to be a new think about the 6 core laptops diba? that we're going to enter into a new generation of very interesting very exciting new stuff and also this coming week like we said uh, it's going to be new Nokia phones in the Philippines new Asus phones in the Philippines and I forgot the other one Corsair is gonna have an event. I'm excited din ako sa Corsair. I don't know why. I wanna see Corsair products. I wanna know if I can get in that. And I don't know kung magre-review tayo ng gaming chair. <laughs> Hopefully, magkatotoo yun. 
Um, 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 show. Okay, thank you very much for watching. That's it for our show. Let's go full screen for this one. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. That has been our big time show for uh, April 7, 2018. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again next week after the Asus Zenfone 5 launch, which is uh, predictions, good or bad. Pricing, pricing the Zenfone 5. Good, bad. We shall see. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Shing. Good on green screen, I know. Hi, tech. <laughs>